This lecture is about vitamins. So vitamins are nutrients. They provide no energy. They contain no calories. They're organic. And um, there are 13 vitamins that have been discovered and named as of today. What are the functions of vitamins? They are to assist in the work of other nutrients to release energy for the body's use. What does that mean? It means that when you're taking your protein, your carbohydrates, your fats, you need these vitamins and minerals to help break up those nutrients so that your body can use them. In dental, it helps prevent periodontal disease and it helps to promote healing of oral tissue. So how are the two types of vitamins are used? There's two different types. There's water soluble and fat soluble. Water soluble is needed every day. They're not stored in our body. So deficiencies will show up quickly. They're organic, so aren't the fat soluble. They're easily destroyed in your cooking or your processing. And any excess of amount is just excreted in the urine. So the fat solubles are different. They're not needed every day because they will be stored in your liver and fatty tissues until you use them. So if you have too much, it can become toxic, so you don't want to overdo your fat-soluble vitamins. And so here's a list. Your water solubles are your vitamin B group and your vitamin C, and your fat solubles are your A, D, E, and K. And here's the list again. So your water solubles. So we're going to talk about each one of these and what they're good for. So your B1, your thiamine, it's found in whole grains, cereals, pastas, rice, oatmeal. It's good for releasing energy from carbohydrates. Your B2, your riboflavin, is found in milk and milk products, in eggs and green leafy vegetables, and they're good for releasing energy from proteins and fats. Niacin is found in organ meats, um, meats uh, and whole grain flour. It's good for metabolism of proteins, fats, and carbs. Your B6 is found in liver and red meats, whole grains, and potatoes, and it's good for building a body tissue. To continue with water soluble, you have B12. It's found in your meats and organ meats, like liver. It's good for cell development. Your B complex is found in your liver and your legumes. Your legumes are your like beans and yeast. And it's good for genetic development and red blood cell development. So these are very good when you're pregnant. Vitamin C found in citrus fruits and dark green vegetables. And it's good for the structure of bone and cartilage and muscles and blood vessels. So now we're going to talk about your fat solubles. So vitamin A is found in liver, um, green, uh, dark green leafy vegetables, orange vegetables, and fortified milk. And it's good for your skin, your hair, and your mucous membrane. Vitamin D is found in fortified milk, and it comes um, fish with bones, and also the sunshine. So it's good for your um, bones and your teeth. Today you're going to hear a lot about, um, a lot of people have vitamin D deficiency, so a lot of doctors are, are recommending um, supplements of vitamin D, and it's because we're going outside less, you know, people are around the computers more, but also we're using sun sunscreen, which we should use, but that also blocks away us getting the vitamin D from the sunshine. Vitamin E is found in nuts and whole grains and fish, and it's good for blood cells um, and tissue. And vitamin K is found in dark green leafy vegetables and cauliflower, and it's good for blood clot. Why do you need to know this? <laughs> this is really good to know because as you just get to use know all of this stuff, you can help your patient. Your patient comes in with bleeding gum tissue, and they happen to be a smoker. And do you know that you have to eat for um, one orange to put back all the vitamin C that one cigarette takes? And so if you're, you're not going to lecture to your patient, but it's good to know to your patient, say, you know, one of the things that will help you with that bleeding gum tissue is vitamin C, you know, or, or take some 
orange, you know, eat some more oranges and so your citrus fruits. So you can help your patient um, fix some of their things just with diet and that's a good thing. Thank you very much.